Hey, this is the Scotsman with the Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. Uh, we're bringing this training video today to you. Uh, it's a two inch schedule 10 copper nickel 9010. Uh, we have some guys uh, work at Austell and uh, some of these other Navy shipyards that need this test to qualify to be able to be a pipe welder. Uh, we looked for some videos online. We couldn't find one. We just decided to do one ourselves. But the first step is uh, get this thing clean. Uh, you see us getting it really clean, wiping it down with denatured alcohol, and uh, using a flapper wheel that hadn't been used on any other metal, so we don't want any cross contamination on this. Uh, so just keep it super clean after you wipe it down. Don't touch it with your hands. Here's a picture of our end cap for the purge. And uh, our root opening, our gap, is about a sixteenth of an inch. And pretty steep bevels there. Uh, <clears throat> some people like to butt it up all the way. Like I said, this is just a guide. There's many ways to do this. Uh, make sure you keep your tungsten sharp. The Scotsman tungsten sharpener works real well for this. Uh, here's how we put the purge in. Don't just throw the hose inside the pipe and let it go. You want to have something on the end to defuse it. Uh, also clean your wires with some scotch bright. Everything has to be real clean. Uh, just touching your hands to it, the oil from your hands can, can cause a contamination and just a dirty weld. You'll see it kind of floating in the top of the puddle as we're running these uh, the root in here and these tacks. It's got a real dead puddle. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you know, as soon as it starts, you'll see the, the edges wet out, and then that's it. That's all you're going to see, and you, you'll see it start to sink down, and that's when you start adding uh, just a little bit of wire. And We, uh, we had an amp set about 80, and we have a, a thumb rheostat. It's on a thumb wheel. It's the Miller uh, rheostat to control your amps, and as soon as we get up to about 75, We'll go up to about, we'll go 100% on 80 amps and then and then wheel it down about, I don't know, probably in between 70 and 80 amps. Uh, just reading that puddle, seeing how fast it's sinking. Now what this puddle's gonna do is it's gonna wet out, it's gonna have no movement, and then it's gonna sink. As soon as you see it sink, you wanna add that wire and be moving. Do not sit in one spot too long because this stuff will wash out on you. I uh, want you to just be sitting there next thing you know there's a hole. Uh, it gives no warning. There's no color change. It doesn't, there's nothing. It's just, it's a timing thing. You're going to have to practice with it and uh, get this down to where you're able to do it. Uh, here's a look at our root on the inside. It actually turned out pretty good. Uh, we did have one bad spot, and that's part of this training video, is we want to show you guys how to fix this spot. If you got a spot that didn't tie in, or a fisheye or something, we use that Metabo, but we don't grind all the way through. We grind, I don't know, 60% down and in, back into the root, and uh, that'll give us enough uh, penetration there to it'll, It'll wet back in just like it was never there. And uh, here it is. I was fixing the bad spot in the root. And uh, we did freehand this. You want the tungsten straight in on this. We didn't walk this at all. Uh, we were trying to get as, as much penetration as possible to get the break down the little piece of wall that was left. This is another thing. Clipped ends of your wires. It makes a big difference. As far as starting back up, uh, we ended up getting the spot out and uh, had a successful um, repair on that. I just wanted to show you guys how we do it because I know that if you're taking a test, you're probably going to have a bad spot. And just just be ready for it. it. Ain't nothing but a thing. Here's uh, putting a cap on. Like I said, it's just a dead puddle. You can see it. It's just there's no movement to it wherever you uh, lay it down that's where it's going to be at so uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to 
but it ain't too bad once you once you uh, deal with it a few times and it's a uh, just a real dead puddle All right, we're on the cap coming up to the termination at the very end of the cap. Uh, I like to do a little thing. It's just I back up, dab a little bit, and it, it builds up like a little tip where I can uh, file down and not hit the rest of my cap. And it, it, it cools the puddle, and uh, it, it keeps you from having a fish eye. And uh, when you actually do file down your stop your final termination it's it's real you know it's real cosmetically it looks good it looks better than uh just running out of it uh you, you can put your file on it and not touch any other part of the the cap but uh here it is uh there's the cap we're a little rusty but it turned out good and then uh, we cut it in half here and you can take a look at the inside it it, it turned out pretty good but uh, most of the time they just bend these, they'll, they'll uh, sand it down flush inside and out and then uh, bend four pieces and, and that's it and you're good to go.